NASA says it is going forward now with its November 14th target to launch its SLS Mega Moon rocket in its first Artemis mission. The agency is expected to roll that rocket back to the pad overnight tonight. Remember, officials had to bring the massive rocket back into the vehicle assembly building before Hurricane Ian. With only 10 days to go until launch now, News 6's Molly Reed is here with the latest on where that mission stands. NASA says it will start rolling its SLS rocket out of the VAB here tonight at 12.01 a.m. to bring it back over to launch pad 39B. This will be the agency's third attempt at an Artemis launch. This time, administrators say they are confident it will go. What we've learned in every wet dress, um, our two launch attempts and the tanking test help build our confidence. NASA management also feeling secure about a nighttime launch, targeting 12.07 a.m. on the 14th. Since bringing the SLS rocket into the VAB to escape Hurricane Ian, they say they've done further inspections. Get into our inspections and make repairs to the TPS and replace FTS hardware uh, or flight termination system hardware there. Uh, recharge the Orion batteries as well as our secondary payload. Uh, batteries. Logistical problems between NASA and the U.S. Space Force caused the previous two launch attempts to be scrubbed, and the clock is ticking to get it off the ground. The solid rocket boosters, which were made from shuttle era parts, are due to expire in mid December. And we'd, we'd go back into an, uh, an analysis cycle to see where we could do that extension again, much like it was for the first one that was initially 12 months. The uncrewed mission will send the Orion spacecraft to circle the moon before returning to Earth. If successful, it will put NASA closer to sending Americans back to the moon and possibly Mars. Everybody asks, are you confident in, uh, in going after a launch attempt? If we weren't confident, we wouldn't roll out. If we weren't confident, we wouldn't start the countdown um, when we do so. Um, yeah, we're confident. And the agency says it is watching a disturbance down in the tropics that could bring strong winds up here to Kennedy Space Center on the 14th. The agency's back updates for a launch are the 16th and the 19th. At Kennedy Space Center, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.